This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is Kryptonite's new and improved flagship bike lock, the New York Forget About It. Now I say new, but these have been out on the market for a little bit under two years now, though I've not yet featured one on this channel. From the outside, the only way to distinguish this lock from the older variant is the elongated hexagon dust cover that we see on the bottom here. The dust covers on the older locks are oval in shape. As best I can tell, there are three major improvements to this lock. The first is a half moon shaped cutout that you can see on the bottom of the shackle here and here. And if we take a little bit of the plastic off of this lock body, we can see the recess into which it fits. The reason they do that is to make this lock just a little bit more resistant to prying and twisting attacks. The second major improvement is that Kryptonite replaced the plastic internals on the old lock with what appears to be cast zinc. Now I'm not a fan of zinc in locks because of the low melting temperature, but that's less of an issue here where the lock has a huge thermal mass, making heat attacks a lot more difficult. But even if that wasn't so, it's still much better than plastic. The final change is the one that I am most interested in, and that is the core. No longer does the core in here tension from the front disc, but instead from a random middle disc. That requires a somewhat more advanced technique to open, but the same tools will work. What I'm going to do to pick this open is tension from the front disc to pick all of the discs behind it, while at the same time trying to find that random middle disc that tensions the lock. Once everything but the front disc is picked, I will use the picking tip to tension that random middle disc, while using the tensioning nose to pick disc one. It sounds pretty complicated and it is an advanced technique. However, it's not as hard as it sounds. So let's try to get this open now. The first thing we're going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to put this disc detainer pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made in to pick up disc one. Okay, we're tensioning off of disc one, so let's find disc two now. And that one feels like it's in a gate. That may be our random disc to tension from. Disc three is binding. Disc four is binding. Disc five is binding very tightly. Disc six feels like it might be in a gate now. That might also be our random middle disc. Click out of seven and click out of eight. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and check to see if everything's in a gate. Number two is, so is number three, so is four, five, Six, seven, I think we're ready to go. Let's go to disc two and tension off of that with our picking tip, while at the same time counter-rotating the tensioning nose. And I didn't get a click, but we're gonna try something else here. Let me just give this a little shake, see if we can let things wiggle into position. Let's try that one more time. There we go. So not too hard to pick, but still a solid improvement over the older model. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.